Friends, today is Tuesday, November 22, 2022. I want to read a wonderful verse from 2 Corinthians, Paul's letter to the church in Corinth, uh, chapter 9, verse 7. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind. Isn't that wonderful? That each of us has the opportunity and the responsibility of deciding what, what are we going to give financially to the work of God. And that's a decision that we get to make on our own. Uh, we get to be the steward of our own resources. We get to, we get to figure out what are, what are our priorities for building the kingdom? What are, we, what are the problems in the world we feel called to address? What are the aspects of what God is doing through our church that we most want to encourage? We really get to, um, to and particularly in our kind of a church community where members have a say in where the resources go, where it's a democratic system, you can talk to the people that are elected to serve as leaders in our congregation or making uh, distribution decisions. Uh, you can get involved in, in, the, in the mission partnerships to which resources are going to evaluate those partnerships and to see how effective they are. There's lots of ways in which you can be involved in uh, the distribution uh, as well as the provision of resources. And I think that's, um, that's an exciting thing. And let me finish this verse. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not regretfully or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So <laughs> there's some people that feel compelled to give out of duty or because they're under pressure from, from a spouse or someone that, that this has to be done. Uh, maybe a pastor has guilted them into giving. And so they give, but man, it's, they, they regret it even as they're doing it. They, they, they not only don't give cheerfully, they give regretfully as if they're compelled to do it. But what God loves is someone who gives freely and joyously. Uh, someone who can smile when they're giving. Someone who can give with faith and the expectation that whatever they give is going to be multiplied and used in ways that build God's kingdom. Let's take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the resources you've given us uh, in, the, in, in the world table of uh, nations. We are at the top, economically speaking, and we have more resources than most of the people do in the world, even if we're people of modest means in the States. And so that's a great responsibility and a great opportunity. Help us to be wise in the way uh, we give as well as generous. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.